Hello and welcome to Crumbs and Doilies HQ. And today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favourite cakes. And this is actually a big cake version of one of my most popular recipes from my recipe book, the cake book, which you can buy from my website. Links down there. Um, it is the Malteser cupcake, but this is the big cake version, as I said. And I absolutely love this. And you guys love the cupcakes because I quite often get tagged in your pictures on Instagram uh, when you've made them. So this is going to be a celebration cake version, and it's really fun. So this is going to be a six inch four layer cake, uh, which means I'm going to be baking my sponges in seven inch tins as usual and then just cutting the outside off. Um, so get yourself some seven inch tins and grease them and also preheat your oven to 170 degrees C and then you can get on with making the sponge. So I've got my big bowl here and I'm going to start by creaming my butter and sugar together and I've got 375 grams of both. And I'm just going to beat that on quite a high speed, once I can get it on my mixer for about five minutes and this needs to be pale and fluffy and if you have been watching my um, how to make the perfect cupcake video recently then you will know that this method is no good for cupcakes so before you ask don't use this uh, recipe for cupcakes use the actual Malteser cupcake recipe from my book which you should be getting. Right, so that is the butter and the sugar all creamed together. And now it's time for the eggs. And I've got six large free range eggs. I'm gonna add them in one by one and beat them quite well after each one. Right, that's looking good, but now I need to put my dry ingredients in. And so I'm gonna sift them together first. Now, if you're not familiar with Maltesers, then I feel very sorry for you. I grew up with them, and so they're one of my favorite sweet treats ever. Um, I think in America they're called Whoppers or something like that. They're basically a crispy, airy, multi ball covered in chocolate. Um, I've got some here. I, th there were a few more earlier, but both me and Sally have been nibbling on them as we've been filming, so to make that up somehow. I'm gonna kind of emulate the maltiness uh, in the sponge by using Horlicks, which is a malt drink powder. Uh, there's other ones like Ovaltine, which are similar. Um, you might have something completely, uh, called something completely different where, it, where, you're, where you come from, but it's basically a malt drink that you would mix with milk and it's really tasty. I've got 285 grams of self-raising flour. I've got 15 grams of cocoa powder. And I've got 75 grams of my Horlicks. And I've also got a little pinch of salt. And now I'm gonna put my mixer back onto a low speed because I want to fold my dry ingredients in and so the lowest setting is fine. If you wanna do this by hand, go ahead, use a spatula or a metal spoon. I'm just gonna do it like this. And when it's almost all mixed through, you can then add your milk. So I've got four tablespoons in here. I'm just gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then just pour it in and fold it. And that is ready. So, as I said before, I'm using seven inch tins. I've already greased them. You can line them with paper cases. Paper cases, you can line them with baking paper. <laughs> paper cases wouldn't go very far. Um, if you want, I find that just greasing them is fine. Um, and I'm just going to evenly distribute them among my four tins. And once you've leveled them off a little bit with a palette knife or something similar, you can bake them at 170 degrees C. That's for a fan assisted oven. And I'm gonna bake mine for 22 to 24 minutes, but you wanna stick a skewer in and make sure it's clean when it comes out. <laughs> and we're back and the cakes are in the oven. And so it's time to make the buttercream. And this is going to be a delicious malty buttercream, which I'm going to be flavoring using malt extract, which is this stuff. It's an organic barley malt extract, and it's like a syrup. It's a bit like um, treacle almost, and it's really malty. Uh, but before we get down to that, I'm going to beat my butter, and I have 250 grams of soft, unsalted butter. I'm going to beat that for about five minutes. And 
That's looking fluffy. So now it's time to add the icing sugar and I've got 565 grams. I've already sifted it and as per usual, if you know me, you like know that I like to put it in in two stages, beating really well after each stage. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Now it's time for the liquid, and I'm going to be doing a mixture of milk and the malt barley extract, which is that syrupy stuff. So I've got two tablespoons of each, and I'm just going to whisk them together a little bit. Mmm, -hmm. mm, that smells really malty, as it should, because it's malty. Um, I'm now going to add it to my buttercream, just on a low speed. Um, I might not put all of it in. I'll see how I get on after about two thirds of the way through. Mmm, this smells so nice. And it looks really good. It's a lovely pale kind of creamy colour. And this is going to be delicious in our cake. But it's still baking, so I'm going to cover this in cling film and come back when it's all ready and cooled down. And hello and welcome back. Uh, it is decorating time. Now, you could keep this really, really simple and just, you know, basically rely on all the multi flavours that we've put inside to Malteserify this cake. But I'm going to go quite a few steps further by using all the Maltesers I could find uh, to decorate the entire of the outside. So I'm going to start by filling my cake sponges and crumb coating them. Now, if you've never done a crumb coat before, or you have, and you just don't really understand it and aren't doing it right, then please check out Sally's Tuesday tips from a couple of weeks ago, where she went into how to do a crumb coat all the way through. So, check it out. All right, that's my crumb coat done. Make sure you discard any of your crummy buttercream. Don't mix it in with your clean buttercream. Um, otherwise, your final coat's going to be crummy, obviously. Um, but crumb coats need to be chilled, so I'm going to pop this into the fridge for at least half an hour. Oh, get it off. It's very heavy. Crumb coat's chilled. So now it's time for the top coat. So just apply lots of buttercream and then remove the excess with your scraper. Now, I'm not going to go crazy trying to smooth it all out and getting rid of all the smears and bubbles. Um, I'm just going to get it to, well, near here, where it's just about smooth. And um, because I'm going to cover up any blemishes with a ton of Maltesers. So let's get started. And that's that, a fully Maltesered Malteser cake. And I have used an absolute shed load of Maltesers. I ended up using almost two full boxes. Um, each box had 360 grams, well, less after I'd eaten quite a lot of them. Uh, so I think I probably used about 600 grams of Maltesers. So this really is a special cake. You wouldn't want to be making this every day because that's a lot of Maltesers to get through. Um, but I really think it's cool and it really tastes so super yummy with all that malt maltiness. Um, so please give it a go. Make sure you take a picture and put it in your Instagram feed using the hashtag CupcakeJanna. And if you haven't tried my Malteser cupcakes already, then please do. Um, I think I've done a video on them. Sally, have I done a video on them? I don't know. Well, if I have, I'll put a link in the description box below. And if I haven't, then you need to get yourself one of my books which is available from my website and the link is in the box below as well. There's a lot of stuff going on down there. Um, I'll be back next week at the usual time, uh, so I will see you then. In the meantime, have a lot of fun making this Maldives cake because it's so 